dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water he has created, which will be sprinkled upon us as a memorial of our baptism. May he graciously renew us that we may remain faithful to the Spirit whom we have received. Lord our God, in your mercy be present to your people who keep vigil on this most sacred night and for us who recall the wondrous work of our creation and the still greater work of our redemption graciously bless this water. For you created water to make the fields fruitful and to refresh and cleanse our bodies. You also made water the instrument of your mercy. For through water, you freed your people from slavery and quenched their thirst in the desert. Through water, the prophets proclaimed the new covenant you were to enter upon with the human race. And last of all, through water, which Christ made holy in the Jordan, you have renewed our corrupted nature in the bath of regeneration. Therefore, may this water be for us a memorial of the baptism we have received and grant that we may share in the gladness of our brothers and sisters who at Easter have received their baptism through Christ our Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now, that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. I do. And all his works? I do. I do. And all his empty show? I do. I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rode, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth, by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen.
With the joy of the resurrection renewed in our hearts, we now turn to God and offer our prayers for our needs and those of the whole world. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that God will strengthen him to be a faithful servant of the gospel and a voice of peace and hope in the world, let us pray to the Lord. For our president, legislators, judges, and all those in service to the common good, that through the gift of heavenly wisdom, they may never tire in their commitment to uphold religious freedom, the sanctity of marriage, and the dignity of all human life from the first moment of conception until natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That many will devote their lives in loving service to the poor, to immigrants and refugees, the marginalized, the sick, and the elderly, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those afflicted with the coronavirus and for those who care for them, that God will heal the sick and strengthen them in this time of great trial, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the joyful celebration of the resurrection will inspire a deeper faith in the hearts of all God's people and encourage within them a desire to share that faith with others in the perennial mission of evangelization, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That many will recognize the gifts God has given them and be open to using those gifts and vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and consecrated life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for our benefactors and the intentions they have enrolled in the National Shrine's Easter Novena and Birthday Remembrance, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who have died, especially those who have lost their lives because of the coronavirus, that they may share now in the glory of the resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now recite together the prayer of to Our Lady, health of the sick. O Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of the Roman people, know that we need and we are sure you will provide so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our souls, to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection, we seek refuge. Holy Mother of God, do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night, above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, my brother Wilton, the bishop of this church, and me, your unworthy servant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred night of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command 
that we may be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the, this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through the participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. 
through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal sacrament one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the final blessing, allow me to express a word of gratitude to Archbishop Christoph Peer for being with us this Holy Week. As Apostolic Nuncio, Archbishop Peer is the personal representative of our Holy Father Pope Francis to the United States. Archbishop, we're happy to have you lead us in prayer these days, and as we assure you of our prayers, I ask that you also convey the prayers of each of us here at Mary Shrine and those who join us at home to our Holy Father. A special word of gratitude is extended to Father Michael Weston, our Director of Liturgy, and Dr. Peter Latona, our Director of Music, for their efforts, as well as for the adjustments they made to ensure that this year's Holy Week celebrations would be as beautiful as they always are here at Mary Shrine. This Holy Week has been much more solemn than any in recent memory because of the restrictions placed during this coronavirus pandemic. We at Mary Shrine have certainly missed having our many guests bring the Supper Church to life by their presence. And since you are not able to be with us in person, I am so very grateful that we're able to come to you in your home through the assistance of the Eternal Word Television Network. And we also welcome our friends from We Are One Body Radio. I hope that in these unprecedented days, our Holy Week liturgies brought each of you some peace, joy, and especially the hope which the resurrection of Jesus guarantees. May God preserve us and Mary protect us, especially all those who are afflicted in any way by the coronavirus and all those who tend to their needs. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Endow you with the price of immortality. 